Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly couples reading for September 2020. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. For those of you who have liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much for um, um, your support. For those of you who have been booking private readings with me, thank you all so much for your for you inviting me to be part of your journey and part of your story. So Cancer, um, I have pre-shuffled the deck and although um, the first week is almost gone, we will um, do a full month reading. So let's start. Tarot and Universe, please tell us what's going to be in the main energy for Cancer couples, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for the month of September. Okay. Okay. Right. We got the Empress. Okay. So this Empress, I keep looking, don't I? Invitation. So what's going to be this invitation all about? could be invitation for getting pregnant we know the empress likes to do that <laughs> okay so tarot and universe please tell us what is coming for cancer and couples sun moon rising and venus signs for the month of september okay first week second week Third week, okay. Fourth week, okay. Okay, so the bottom deck is the moon card. Right, so Cancer, you were ruled by the moon and you've got the moon card. So, week one, we've got the hermit. In the week two, you've got a Knight of Wands. In week three, you've got the Eight of Swords. And week four, you've got a Two of Swords. Okay. Here, we've got the Empress. And I feel here, this is a card of... Um, as they say, it's invitation. I feel this is more to do with um, you inviting your partner and trying to attract them. And they're trying to invite you and trying to attract you in a very more sensual way. And they want you to see that. They are very nicely dressed and they want you to see their makeup. And they want you to see that, you know, they are there in your face, you know. <laughs> Yes, that is how I feel here. I feel it's going to be a very sensual month for you. And I feel for some of you, there's possibility you're going to get pregnant. Okay. The Empress brings pregnancy often. And then when you have the moon, okay, you know, you're going to be moody or you are going to um, see a new cycle begin in your life which could be a baby, okay? So, here in the first week, this is the hermit. And of course, I feel for most of you, either you or your partner are going to be in your mind a lot. You are going to um, want to find some solitude. Yes, you're going to be in your head a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, yes, a, a lot. But I also feel here, um, you're going to isolate yourself from certain situations. And I also think and feel like you want to isolate yourself from certain problems, certain people, and look at your own situation, look at your relationship from a different point of view. This is how I'm seeing it here. Okay. Um, it could also be that your, your, your partner could be a little bit distant from you. They may want a bit of um, space to themselves. 
And so you'll be thinking, okay, why is he or she um, not giving me the attention? Because, you know, look at me, I'm dressed. Look at me, I've got my hair done. Look at me. You know, can't, can't he or she see that I'm here kind of thing? But I feel like either you or your partner will want to have some space to themselves. And I think that perhaps it would be good you give them some space because they've got their night of wounds here. And I feel they've got something up their sleeve that they want to share with you because this is a Sagittarius card and it's um, an expansion. Okay, so um, it could mean that either they are going to propose to you, that is why they're thinking about it, you're in their minds a lot, you're thinking about it, or um, you, you're thinking that the two of you should extend, you know, <laughs> extend the two of you together and um i feel there's a possible proposal or um for for those of you who don't live together in the second week you, you are meeting up with your partner who is possibly going to surprise you or they are going to just you know come and visit you some because this is the visitor card he is a visitor he 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 travels light so um it could mean that some of you are going to travel in the second week of september okay so but i feel it's certainly a proposal there and i feel this is a lot of energy that is going on i feel for some of you it is the energy of the invitation that you or your partner is accepting in the second week so whether you are getting proposed to or not i feel the second week is when a lot of action is going to happen sensual action a lot of energy going on and of course in the third week you've got the eight of swords i feel for some of you it could be a frustrating time for you or it could be uh it could be something bothering your mind or your partner's mind where you may feel slightly restricted and you may not be 100 percent sure or of what you want to do it could be that your partner may be acting a little bit awkward or a bit moody like the moon you know so you might feel a little bit frustrated in the third week and which goes on to the fourth week where you feel you need to make a certain decision about your partner about your relationship okay because when you add the moon card it also means that um there's hidden issues so um having the moon as your base could also be that you could be emotional or your partner could be emotional throughout the month. And that is why you, you, you have ended up with the eight of swords and the two of swords. It could not, it, it, might, it might be that it's not even your partner. It might just be just you. Okay. Yes, could be that. So there's an invitation. An invitation whether you would take it or not take it but i think you're going to take it <laughs> yes so cancer i think i'll leave the reading here i hope it's a, it has been insightful i'll see you next month or you see me next month